Hello, my name is Latrina. I have a small business here in Frederick, Maryland, where I've been helping reach out to small businesses and helping with custom videos to help increase your online presence. These videos are customized. I make them individual for every business that I reach out to, and they're free of charge. They're um, intended to help after the pandemic, small businesses recover, maintain their customer base, and continue to grow. So as I mentioned, this is free. I'm not selling anything in this video. I'm hoping that this video will bring value and service to your business. The only thing I ask is at the very end, if you can send me a short email or reply of feedback, whether it was helpful or not, your feedback would be greatly appreciated. So please do that at the end um, so that I can continue to send these out and know whether or not I'm adding value. So what I'll cover in the short video is content backlinks and citations and why these are important website elements. I'll also go over your company's online presence and make recommendations for any improvement. Content is anything on your website, such as words, images, videos. It's important to have a sufficient amount of content so that you can get the relevant keywords that people are actually using in Google to search for your services. You wanna have at least 500, I'm sorry, 1500 words on your homepage and 500 on your back pages. This is not etched in stone. Google does use other factors as well when ranking companies. However, the more content you have, the more you are perceived to be the expert in your field. Then citations are listings and directories such as Google, Yelp, Yellow Pages. I do have a sample here on the screen for you. It's merely your business name, your address, and your phone number. You want to have these um, throughout the internet so that Google can rank you. And if you have more of these than your competitors, of course, you are getting the upper hand there. So more citations, greater ranking in Google. Backlinks similarly um, help with your ranking. Backlinks is your website address located on other websites, such as Yelp, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, any of those. They are helping to drive traffic to your website. The more backlinks you have, the more popular your website actually becomes. Um, Google places high emphasis on businesses that have a large number of backlinks. So you want to grab as many as you can in order to validate and legitimize your business in the eyes of Google. But not all backlinks are created equal. So I do caution businesses not to just grab any backlink that they can. You want to make sure they're relevant to your line of business. So with Celebrations Catering, um, you obviously would not be having backlinks for automotive detailing or um, Pizza Hut or anything like that that's not relevant to what you are doing. So let's take a look at your website. I believe I have it pulled up here. So first of all, my first impression is that it's very, the presentation is great. I love the, the photos. Um, the food looks delicious. And of course, that's what you want. You want that impression to be one where people want to go and order food from you, right? So that's obviously what you are accomplishing here. The one thing I would say is on your homepage, you don't have much content. And again, even though these pictures are beautiful and um, what would you know be pleasing to the eyes, Google, however, is what's going to be ranking you. So you want to get more content on your homepage and your back pages, as I explained earlier. Also, when you are naming your photos and graphics, be sure to name them keywords that people are going to be typing in. Like this main photo right here, this is a great opportunity to name that something um, catering services in Frederick or something like that. That, even though it doesn't show up on the front side, on the back side, when Google is crawling your website, all of these images will have um, keywords associated with them and that will rank you higher than your, com your competitors. So all of these um, photos that you have, that this is a great opportunity for you to rename them with things that are relevant to what people are typing into Google. So for example, the one I just clicked on, it's saved as just married. Why not change that to um, catering for weddings, catering for wed weddings in Maryland or something like that. But that again, it would help you to outrank your competition. And let me go to Google right now and show you what appears when I do catering company, Frederick, Maryland. Um, at the top of this page here, we have the prime area called the map pack. This is where most traffic 
is taking place in Google. These are the top um, um, competitors that you have right now in Frederick, Maryland for catering company. As I mentioned, this is where most 30 to 40% of Google traffic takes place here. And then the remaining are like the first through the third pages in Google. People aren't going further than those pages. So even though you are, I believe you're listed here. Yeah, you are listed on the first page. But what I would target and what I would aim for is getting your company in here. These companies right here are um, what I would consider low hanging fruit, meaning they don't really have an official, their websites are not here. If I was to click on any one of these, it's going to take me to a list of a bunch of catering services. It doesn't take you directly to their website. That's because this is a Google ad and it's not really, um, it's not, um, how do I say it? It's not um, built um, where it's been verified by Google. So what you would do is make sure that you get placed in this, this Google map pack is to get your website, um, get a Google my, my business profile so that you're listed here and your website would be right here and they would just simply click your business. They wouldn't get a whole list of competing um, catering companies and they would just go directly to your beautiful website. Okay, so that's my suggestion there. Um, if we go over to um, look at the statistics, this is data from Google Analytics and it would say you actually are doing pretty good compared to most companies that I've been looking at. Um, so on a rating of one to 100, on a scale of one to 100, you have a popularity rating in Google of 19, which is not bad. There's plenty of room for growth, but it's not terrible. You also have 198 backlinks. At one time you had 1000. So you definitely want to start getting more backlinks and you definitely want to get more referring citations and domains. One time you had 222, you're down to 82. Your organic keywords are also not bad, but you do have opportunities to increase that. What I would recommend is thinking about being more specific about the keywords that you use. Be more specific by adding the areas that you serve. I know on your homepage, I saw that you cater to, um, where did we see it? It had your service areas and it listed the cities um, where you provide service. I would um, make sure to include those cities or areas in your keywords as well so that you're not missing out on opportunities and that will help Google to know, hey, they provide services in this area as well, not just Frederick, not just Thermont. Um, so yeah, so definitely do that with your keywords. I'm gonna wrap this up because I feel like I've gone longer than I promised you. I said it would be short, um, but I hope this has been helpful. I hope the tips that I have um, shown you can help you to improve your online presence. If I haven't been clear and you have a request for clarification, please reach out. I'd be happy to clarify anything that I mentioned. Otherwise, I do wish you much success and continued growth in your company. Thank you so much for your time. Bye-bye.